Hi, I'm Solomon, and this is part two of a tutorial series on how to use Sunbox. In this one, we'll cover some basic things about a, about a generator. Now, a generator is kind of like the building block of uh, Sunbox's modules. It's very simple to use, and you can get a lot of different sounds out of it. It's very versatile. So, first, let's just open up the module view. You just drag this apart, and let's see we have a generator connected to an echo connected to the output that's the way it comes when you start up a new song so let's just have the generator connected straight to the output now what you uh, we're gonna play a little note a little few notes so we can see how it sounds use the piano roll up here to hear it okay let's change some values on this let's put down a little pattern so we can have something running while we change the values so we're just gonna Okay, that will do. Alright, so we have a little pattern going. Now we're going to change some values here, some parameters, so we can see what the generator can do, so to speak. So um, first of all, we have a type, that's the type of synth uh, that the generator will make, the type of sound that it will make. We have padding, which designates which uh, channel, which speaker it comes out of, left or right. Attack is how long it takes to get from zero, go from silent, to full volume. Release is how long it takes to go from full volume down to zero, silence. Polyphony is how many voices the sound, uh, synthesizer can play at once, which is in this case eight. Now, polyphony is uh, interesting because, for example, if you have a piano, you will want to have a lot of voices. So you can have multiple keys playing at each time. A key is a voice. However, if you have like a Game Boy synth, then you might have one polyphony because basically you have one instrument playing at any given time a, re a rectangle and maybe two uh, triangles and a noise channel where, where all that were on let's say a Game Boy or an NES so you can afford that many sounds so that uh, is what covers handles that mode is the type of, of synth it is in terms of sound quality uh, high quality or mono so you have stereo and high quality or mono and high quality then you have uh, sustain. Now sustain is as long as we hold down the note, if sustain is on, then the sound will stay at full volume. If sustain is off, as soon as we hit the note, it will, if I recall, go from attack, yeah, use attack to go from zero to, uh, to full volume, then use release to go from full volume down back to zero. So sustain is usually what you might want for chords or something like that where you want the, the sound to continue as you hold the notes and different things like that. Pulse modulation is a little interesting, so I'm not going to get into that right now. And duty cycle is used for square and P sign type uh, generators. So let's change the release real quick. Well, let's let's hear what it sounds like first, and then change the release. Right now, let's change the, the sustain and the attack. Okay, now let's try different types here. Dirty. Sine wave. Half sign. Absolute sign and P sign. I think it's pulse sign or something to that effect. Okay, now if you recall what I said about duty cycle, that works for square to uh, square and P sign type um, generators. So let's try square and changing this. So as you can see, there's a lot of different settings here to mess around with and try out. So that's just a, a brief little example of what uh, the generator can do. Um, that's just a simple tutorial. So hopefully I'll get into another one and another one and continue with these to help uh, get a little bit more understanding about how to use some bots. Okay, so this has been part two of the tutorial series. 
Uh, hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you, uh, you liked it. Uh, please have fun with Sunbox. And I've been Solarloom. So thanks for watching.